Alright, 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 so today I'm going to be showing you guys an updated version to the all-in-one macro that I posted a while ago And instead of yapping, let's just get straight into the video So the first thing you're going to want to do is download the macro So to download the macro, you're going to want to click on the first link in the description That link should redirect you to this Discord server right over here, Salmon's Projects Now just scroll all the way up and then scroll down until you see Mango right over here Click on that, click on AVAIO 1.3.1 Scroll all the way down until you see the this link to download right over here and click on this and then you're gonna see this right over here just make sure that you click on this again after you click on this this page should appear so when you're over here you're just click on you're just gonna click on right over here releases under releases and this should pop up now just click on this zip file right over here then this type of download window should pop up just make sure that you click on save and then after it's done make sure that you open it right over here after you open that extract all and then click on extract so now that you got this double click this and then actually before you double click on this you're gonna want to go and click on the second link in the description that i posted now when you click on the second link in the description that should redirect you to auto hotkey right over here click on download and download the newest one and now just click on save and then um do all of the startup things so after you did that you can go back to where we were before right over here then you can double click on this and now the reason it says windows protect your pc and it says you know it's a virus which is not true is because this macro does run key keystrokes and keystrokes are usually ran by malicious software but i'm telling you guys this is definitely not a virus so now just click on run anyway and now as you can see my window is bugged out if this happens to you then you gotta make sure that before pressing f1 to align you gotta press f11 to unfull screen it and then you press f1 that way it perfectly aligns into the roblox box okay now let's start right off with the main right over here for webhook let me show you guys how to do the webhook url so to do the webhook url we're back here and now just make sure that you have your own server any server that you have as an example i have mine right over here boom and now you're gonna go to whatever channel you have for a v edit channel integrations webhooks click on new webhook and then copy this webhook url right over here after you're done with that paste it right in here and then click on save settings so for auto reconnect i'll show you guys how to do that as well so whenever you're over here in av just make sure that you click on servers and then you should see your privacy right over there click on configure now when you're over here just you just want to gonna copy that link Control c browse and paste that link right and just paste that link right in there and press enter and then after this is done loading just make sure that you go on over here and press Control c on this link so after you did this just make sure that you paste that link in here and save settings so for game modes so now i'm gonna tell you guys something about this macro this is an all-in-one with macro you can literally run anything you want but let's say as an example i would like to run challenges for whatever reason i want to run challenges so now you're going to want to go over here to challenge and then just this is kind of annoying right now make sure that you have your team so let's say we go back over here and for teams personally my challenge team is always the second to last which is the seven so just make your challenge team the exact same as mine as you see with vanguard sunjin wu the exact team and also in the second to last spot now after you do this and also if you guys like want to run a different map or something just make Sure that you go back to salmon's project and then on mango tier list as you can see they have tier lists for every single macro on which team to use so as you can see you have the second to last team as challenges now you want to go over here to challenge and then click on uh, the seventh so click on the seventh team and now you have to do this for every single one Okay, so now I recommend enabling webhook statistic and the rest you can just leave as it is as is and click on save and then click on X. So now for the placement, you just have to remember what team you were last on, which for me was team seven. So now I'm going to go over here and check the team I had. So for the first slot, that would be Vanguard Sung Jin Woo. And so for challenge, I think only shadows. If you have a non-monarch, you should put him on only shadows. Then over here, Uryu, just make sure that you make his upgrade, upgrade two, and the rest should just stay. So for Lancer, you have to put him on one placement and upgrade seven that's what i personally recommend then here for biken you could just uh, leave these stats as it is and now you just have to make sure that also your last two units are takaroda and speedwagon just in this order and now click on save and then x and then here for farm so let's say you actually selected one of these choices spring portal right Make sure that you did the exact same thing as I did with the game modes and everything. And then you also have the correct team from the Discord. But since I didn't choose any of these, I'm just going to go over here to do trade challenge because I just want to showcase the trade challenge. But let's say you wanted to do Rift, then you can also checkmark that. You can basically make it do a lot of things at once, which is very nice. So I'm going to enable do half hour challenge and trade challenge and now just click on save. So after that, you're going to want to configure these settings right over here. Make sure that shift lock is off. This should be on 0.15. Then make sure that 
the graphics quality is all the way down and then make sure that this setting you have all of these turned on and this should be on one as you can see just make sure that it's really at one also for the window settings right over here just click on system display and then when you when you're over here make sure that the scale is 100 and that this display resolution is either 1920 by 1080 or 1920 by 1200 for me 1200 also works but i don't know if it will work for you and now when you're done with that i just recommend having the chat on and now i'm just gonna run a quick time lapse for you guys on how this macro would actually run though let's get straight into it <laughs> Alright, so as you guys can see, that worked very well. Now, if this video helped you out, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Love y'all, and see you in the next one.